All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashur, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Honors and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his word, truth, and siri. Or this is the brother Tawab Raka. Dawadaba. Yeah, me and this brother got together through the spirit, man. We just going to go into a few scriptures. Um, you know, going into the spirit of being content. You know what I'm saying? Being content with what we have, what, what the Lord has, whatever state the Lord has, brothers, in to be content with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of Israelites out here, a lot of these individuals out here that, you know, they go out there on the highways and byways or they had these shows and, you know, they try to paint the truth as, a, you know, living a, a luxurious life where in actuality is the opposite, you know. Of course, you know, the Lord blesses brothers here and there. But for the most part, you know, when you come to this truth, talk, talking to you, you, you brothers that may be new to the faith, you know, you're going to go through a lot of adversity. OK, and adversity comes in, you know, different various ways. OK, it doesn't always have to be financial. It could be mental. It could be. You might be a brother that has physical ailments, okay? You may be a brother that deals, you know, that that's dealing with a a, um, a, a a rough family situation, okay? Wherever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Wherever the Lord, uh, you know, has brothers or wherever a state brothers are in, as it says in the Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter in the Apocrypha, wherever it's placed upon us, we got to take cheerfully. You know what I'm saying? And and also consider that, you know, us having this truth is a is is a beautiful thing, man. Just just knowing, just knowing what we know, you know, in these latter times. You know, when you look at the majority of our people, Jake out here is lost. Jake is out here, you know, just bugged out you know they don't have a hedge you know what i'm saying and no matter what we be going through at the end of the day we got to remember we got to be grateful that we even have a hedge that we even know the names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son okay and we can pray to those to, to the to the name for the lord to, to comfort us you know and and the, the guide us through, through those those adversities okay so yeah me and this brother you know gonna bring out a few scriptures and Lord willing, this be edifying to you sincere brothers as well as you few sincere sisters out there. So we're going to get right into it. Go ahead, brother. It's 1 Timothy 6 and 6. Mm -hmm. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm -hmm. Godliness with, with contentment is great gain because a lot of people in this world, especially all people that go to these churches, they think, uh, pros they think all they think is about uh, is prosperity, you know, and the average Israelite, a man and woman, okay, the majority of our people in this in this society is struggling and or in poverty, you know. Some of our people are below poverty, you know, and this is a lot of our people are below poverty, okay? Shit. We struggle, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we we, right. we live in paycheck to paycheck. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what does the scripture say? The just shall live by faith, yeah. right? So no, but having this truth, knowing what we know, and the Lord gives us just enough, okay? Because the Lord is, is, is sustaining us. Matter of fact, real quick, bro, give me the um, Psalms. It's like you, I'm going to look it up real quick. It's in Psalms 50 chapter, where the Lord sustains us. Wait, you look it up, can I look, get this word contentment? Yeah, go ahead. This word contentment and uh, it's a G eight four one. It said a perfect condition of life in which no aid or support is needed, sufficiency of necessities of life, a mind contented. Right, sufficient, <laughs> sufficient. Yeah. So, whatever the Lord sees that's sufficient for you, that's what the Lord is going to provide for you. The Lord's not going to give you something. He's not going to give you more than what you need 
or he's not going to give you less than what you need. Okay. He's going to give you just enough for you to be sufficient. Okay. Matter of fact, you stay right there, bro. I'll read it. Uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. You see, so the Lord is, is the one that sustains us. And no matter what uh, uh, state are we in, you know what I'm saying? The, the Lord provides, you know, and, you know, the apostles, elders, brothers over the years have given many testimonies you know, trials they've been through, the things that they had in, to endure. You know what I'm saying? And for us brothers today, also the scriptures, of course, you know, our ancient foreparents, ancient forefathers, the things they went through. You know, that's written as a, a token of their faith. To, for us to have comfort and to, you know, when we, when we find ourselves in these situations, we think upon these scriptures and and move accordingly. Okay. Yeah, that was the Can I get a quick precept? Yep, yep. Go ahead, brother. Philippians four and eleven says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Right. And that's the Lord that's what the Lord teaches us when we come into this truth. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that that um patience. You know what I'm saying? Which means the suffering. You know what I'm saying? And in, in that suffering, we learn how to be content with what we have. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in the world that, you know, these these people in the world that's trying to make it here, quote unquote, make it, so-called make it here, they're they're not content. They're not, they're not uh, you know, people like that that had that mind frame, they're those people are usually ungrateful people. Those are the people that always, you know, we complain too, but it's 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 righteous. We complain in righteousness, say. Right. Like, you know, but these people complain about, you know, the not having the, the materialism of this world. You know what I'm saying? So that's why these people out here are cutthroat. These people will lie, steal, and cheat, you know, because in their mind, the, you know, this illusion that they've been fed through through the, 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 um, the, the movies, music, these reality TV shows. Is totally um, destroyed their their um, frame of thought. So they think everything they see on TV, they think all that shit is real. It's really fantasy, man. It's all lies. Okay, deceit. They, they corrupt you people. You know, especially our people, man. What? He said, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound. Right, Apostle Paul. He said, I know how to be a base and I know how to be abound. Because there's times the Lord a bless a brother, okay? And but then it's a balance. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord's not going like I said, the Lord's not gonna give someone more than what they need, and he's not gonna give them less than what they need. He's gonna give them just what they need for for whatever purpose. Because you gotta believe when a brother get a blessing, it's for a purpose. Okay? It's not the you know, the, the, the prosper here, because remember, the scriptures say this is not our rest. Okay? We don't have a continuous city here, but we seek one to come. That's the kingdom. Okay? The kingdom, that's when we're going to prosper. That's when we're going to be able to have a real uh, inheritance. We pass down from generation to generation. You know? We don't have that here. Go ahead, brother. Says, and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Right, and, and see, we're abounding in 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 the, in the spirit. You know, with the spirit, the spirit, this truth is abounding. You know what I'm saying? What the scriptures say: uh, poor in this world, but rich in faith. Okay, so like the apostle Paul said, you know, that's what we're 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 coming to that level of understanding, knowing how to be a base and being abound. Okay, being content with wherever we have. Basically, that's what it is. You know, wherever, wherever uh, situation you, you got and it's good for you, just be content with that. You know, if the Lord blesses you, cool. If the Lord, but if you 
if you're in that um, same estate and and you know and you you know you good, you know you you got your your, your bills are paid, you got a roof over your head, you know you got clothes in your back, you know what I'm saying? Then be content with that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have that, you know. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the, these other these other individuals out here, man, that that's pushing this this idea of you was gonna come into the truth. You gonna have a you gonna have a pretty ass wife. All your kids gonna be straight. Right. You know what I'm saying? They all they going to the best schools and all all this bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like when you come into this truth, man, I'm gonna I'm keep it real, man. You know, hey man, you gonna be going through some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your family gonna be looking at you yeah. crazy. They gonna be yeah. talking shit about you. Yeah. It's gonna be all type of shit going on, man. All you aspects. know, all aspects. But you know, at the end of the day, hey, that's why the Lord too, he set up a brotherhood. Yeah. Brothers that, yeah. you know, brothers break bread, brothers build each other up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Through, through these tribes. Go ahead. It says, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthens me. Right, and same. That's the same mindset we have. It's all through the Lord, man. You know, He said, "I can do all things through Yahweh Shai." Yeah. You know, once again, the Lord is the one that sustains us. Okay, hey, when we go out there on the highways and byways, that's that's the spirit of the Lord upon us. We're not doing that on our own will. Right, right. You know. Do you you know when we your know, brother speaking, the, the spirit might, you know, the, a brother might want to go into a certain topic, but the spirit might have it go somewhere else, you know, because we're not in control. The, the Most High is in control. The Lord's in control. Man's goings are the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Back in First Timothy six and six, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, mm -hmm. and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right. See, we we ain't bring nothing here, and we ain't taking nothing with us. You know, everything we get is 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 from the Lord. Okay. Even the the uh, the understanding of these scriptures. You know, because because uh, men had to teach us. Right. We had to learn from the apostles, elders, and brothers on down. But the Lord got to give you the, the spirit to accept the truth, you know, and to, to continually to grow. OK, because, you know, once you come into the truth, once, you know, you learn the scriptures from your teachers, you're supposed to start growing. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you know, it's going to get to a point where, brother, you know, you're not going to be around older brothers like that. You're going to have to really get this understanding for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to learn how to navigate within this truth. You're going to have, you're going to, have to learn how to, you know, depend on who, you, you know, your your spirit, your personality, how you going to, how you balance your time in this thing, how you balance your time with studying, you know, um, you know, linking with bros, doing shows, you know, your own personal time, you know, that's some things you learn as as you grow. Go ahead. Verse 8, it says, And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Right. Food, raiment. Food, clothing. We got shelter. All right. Be content with that. Okay. Because we ain't, like I said, we ain't here to, to, to fucking have castles, man. Like, I was watching... <laughs> Puzzle uh, Gabar's video the other day. He showed uh, the Rothschilds a uh, mansion. That shit looked. That shit was huge. You know what I'm saying? But even in the kingdom, they ain't even gonna compare. You know. But you know, Jake ain't living like that right now, man. Okay. We got a little humble little hut here. You know what I'm saying? So a humble, a humble little tent, and that's cool. You know. Cause at the end of the day, we, you, we our mind ain't in this place, man. Our heart, our heart is not in this world, okay? Yeah, we here physically, but our 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 mind, our spirit is, you know, we not we 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 far removed from this place, man. Okay. Go ahead. Verse nine it says, "But they that will be rich fall into temptation, and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, 
which drown men in destruction and perdition. Right, because when you have riches, what, 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 what happens? You you have all sorts of things at your at your hand, at your fingertips. You got all type of access to any kind of lust, whatever your lust is, whether it be women, excess of drinking with the wine, the liquor, okay? You know, Jake get caught up in with the drugs. You know, you got all these dudes, you know, these Jakes, they get a lot of money, they start, they get an addiction to that, what's that shit called? Lean, oh, yeah. cough syrup, okay? Because these niggas got all this money and a lot of these niggas be spending a lot of money just to feed that habit, feed that addiction, you know? And that's what happens to a lot of these fucking celebrities, you know? That's why after a while when you see, when you see, if you ever seen some of these celebrities, which I've seen, a couple of brothers have seen, when you see these people in person, you see how frail they are. You see how fucking, you know, how much of a degenerate degenerate they are because you can clearly see these these people are on these people are fucking drug addicts you know what i'm saying they they faces all fucked up you know they hygiene it's just disgusting man okay but but see these are people that people uplift here these are people the average person when they go home they think these people are living a, a, a super luxurious lifestyle and a lot of them are not like I said, a lot of that shit is 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 this is deception, man. Okay, it's to get you people out there to, 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 to be stuck on stupid. All right, go ahead, bro. Verse eleven it says, "But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness." Right, we supposed to flee those things. So you see, guys calling themselves Israelites, and they all on that that that, that tip of, uh, you know, trying to have the, the flashiest garment. You know, they have, they have these humongous congregations. You know, they have they're always doing these feasts. They're always pushing this idea. You gotta have uh, uh, you gotta have this. You gotta have that. You know, Hebrew and in the, in the Hellcat, all this bullshit. Okay, they ain't got nothing to do with the edification and building of our nation, man. You know, you see all this nonsense, but but see, somebody gotta be. The, the prophets, somebody got to be out here that's teaching the truth the correct way, okay? Because the men of the Lord ain't going to be doing that, man. The men of the Lord ain't going to be out here fucking doing rap videos and shit like that, man. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. We doing a sign and crying. Right. Abominations, man. Yep. It says, but thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, Patience, meekness. Right. You see, that's that's the examples we supposed to be setting for our people. Not that that bullshit, man. Okay. And see, when when the Lord returns, those individuals they gon they they gonna be in a pitiful case. You know, you know ones of our people that sold out. Okay. You receive your consolation. Okay. You couldn't wait. You didn't have no faith to wait upon the Lord. So when the Lord return, you ain't gonna, the Lord ain't gonna reward you. Okay, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter thirty, and verse eight. It says, "Remove far from me vanity and lies. Mm -hmm. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Mm -hmm. Feed me with food convenient for me. So you may be a brother that has a, a that has seeds and a woman." That may be with you. So the Lord's going to give you according to that. Or you may be a brother that doesn't have children. You don't even have, you don't have a woman or children. The Lord's going to give you according to that. You know what I'm saying? Because a brother that, you know, brothers that got, got wives and children, they, you know, they got to do what they got to do for their wives and their children. You know? And the brothers that don't have those responsibilities, you know, they got to deal with what they got to deal with, you know? But the point is, the Lord going, it's that, that's that balance, okay? The Lord's not going to give, like the scripture brothers just read, neither poverty nor riches, okay? Going to give us just enough for our situation. Go ahead. It says, verse 9, it says, lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is Yahweh? Right, and that's what, that's what happens. 
That's why guys ain't teaching the name. Because they fool. Yeah, they you know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they live in uh, 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 they living a life in, in, in comfortability, man. They're very comfortable with you know the 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 the, 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 the goodies, the benefits that they're receiving. Okay, but but us, you know what I'm saying, like the brother said, we're we're signing crime for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, okay? We ain't we ain't sitting up here, we ain't living in no like I said, we ain't living in no damn castle, man. All right. We we don't got servants uh massaging our back and feeding us fruit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got that right now, okay? But that that's it's coming. <laughs> we gotta. We, that's what we looking forward to. Yeah. Because you're like, shit. We on the bottom. So you like, so you got something to look forward to. If you was living like that now, you know, the kingdom to come. That's why Jake ain't so in a rush to look forward to the kingdom to come. You know, right, right. they want to rest here. Right. They like, man, I'm cool here. <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to go nowhere. I ain't trying to fuck this up. So Jake trying to, you know, live good here. But we like, yeah. man, fuck this place. That's why every day we just like, man, another day. You know, we thankful for the day. You know, right, of course, right. for being alive and everything, but right. we're looking forward to the kingdom to come. Right, yep. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9, it says, Lest I be fool and deny thee and say, Who is Yahweh? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. Right, and the Lord ain't going to have his elect in that situation. You see what I'm saying? You see, the thing is, a lot of those individuals like lack faith. Okay? They, you know, that's why they can't, they couldn't wait. Just like that, that same spirit of Esau. When, when uh, he sold his birthright, he couldn't wait for the meat to be cooked. You know, now I want he's like, man, give me that red pottage. I want it now, you know? Jake is in that same spirit. Jake has no patience at all. You know, a lot of our people are a bunch of damn uh, Edomites in the, in the mind, okay? Because they, they ain't, any little thing Jake go through, Jake get offended. Jake get offended with the Lord. You know, any little thing, any little thing that rubbed Jake the wrong way, any little adversity test the Lord put Jake through, Jake do Jake get very offended. You know, and they and they get very disrespectful towards the Lord. That's why, you know, when that time comes, you know, when the Lord returns, that's why the scripture says he's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. You know, those that would not have me reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 23 and 4. Mm -hmm. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Right. Labor not to be rich. And the brothers, the brother, uh, the brother Barack had us watch a documentary going into how this money work, which this money is all bullshit, man. It's all debt. If it was if, if, if there was no debt, it wouldn't be no dollar. Right. So basically what they're saying is this money was created to put you people in debt to who? To, to the elites to become slaves in the ever um, hamster wheel, man. Ever spinning hamster wheel. You know, a debt that you will never pay off because, it, you know, the debt outweighs the money that's in circulation. You know, so you people out here that you think you, you rich, you're not rich. Okay? Real true riches you know, first and foremost is this knowledge, this truth that we have, but on a carnal aspect, riches is land, resources. Okay? You can't do nothing with no goddamn paper money. Okay? But Esau has deceived the people to to bind into this, this bullshit. That's why it's called a credit credit based system, meaning credit meaning belief. In order for the, the money to have this so-called money to have values, the belief of the people. And they've got the, the people tricked, deceived, that this, this, that this piece of paper is worth something. Okay, but the point is, the, the brother read that scripture, is, you know, that's not, we're not here to, to be laboring to become rich here, man. We're here to, to, to you know, first and foremost, this is a punishment. You know what I'm saying? This is a punishment for our disobedience to, toward the Lord. Now we're at the end of this punishment. Now we're coming to the time where the Lord is getting ready to restore Israel, starting with the elect. 
Okay, this is what we're supposed to be t t telling our people, okay? Go ahead. It's verse 5, it says, Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? Mm -hmm. For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Right. So you see, you want profit for that which is not? Because yeah. pretty soon, this, this, all this shit is going to be done away with, man. Okay? When they come with that, that uh, MOTB, what you going to do? You guys out there that 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 uh, that still conf that still uh, confused about what the MOTB is is, we gonna see, man. Because when when all hell breaks loose, and and, and the Lord really started opening up on this place, you Jakes out there, man, you ain't gonna you, you ain't gonna be no excuse, man. For your for your your foolishness, man, for your ignorance, because there's too many videos out there. It's too many videos, especially Great Millstone. Start my apostles, L's on down. Too many videos going into that, that topic. Too many videos. So many videos, man. It's no excuse, man. So when all this, this all that hell, you, you jakes get fucked up out here, ain't gonna be no pity. Ain't gonna be no remorse. Okay? Because you, you're you not taking heed. You, you, you're not regarding what the Lord is saying right now. Was that it? Yep. yep. So, James two and four, uh, two and five. It says, "Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, Woo. rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which He have promised to them that love Him?" Right. See, yeah, we're poor in this world. Okay, like I said, we don't have servants. We don't have castles. All right. You know, we don't. We don't even have a, a, a military. You know, we ain't got nothing but but this word, man. Come on, his brothers in the truth. That's, we got this. We got uh, uh, this truth, and we got each other. Yeah. You know, but as far as this, you know, chasing this materialistic bullshit out here, that you're not. That's not the right mindset to have, man. You know, that shit's gonna get a lot of you. You Jakes out there destroyed. You know. Because you putting all those things before the Lord, man. The scripture tell us the Lord is a jealous power, man. You putting all your time and effort into this, this world, that the Lord gonna have that same attitude towards you when He come back. He ain't gonna he, the Lord gonna say, Depart from me, I never knew thee. Okay? Was that it? Uh, the last verse right come here. On, verse six it says, But ye have despised the poor, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Right, and that's the, the Jake got that mind frame, man. They despise they they own people. They despise the poor man because <clears throat> a lot of these Jakes sell, selling out. A lot of Jakes they after that bag. You know, Jake don't got no faith. Jake don't want to suffer. Here it is, our Lord Yahweh Shai. He had to suffer for us, but Jake don't want to suffer for the Lord though. You know what I'm saying? Jake, Jake, <clears throat> Jake want to. Jake want to live it, do big here, yeah. and then get on the chariot. And, and nah, man, it don't work like that, dude. Yeah, you know, it's never enough for Jake. That content, like you saying, Jake yeah. ain't never content. It's never enough. Yeah, his eyes never, never full. Yeah, you know, Jake always want more, want more, want more. Right, just like the the, the <clears throat> black woman, majority yeah. of black women, they they yeah. like that. They can't, they can't. You can't be no regular dude and be with them. That's why Jake doing it too. Yeah. For the black woman, you know. Yep. Jake could be cool with it, just a one bedroom. He'll be straight. You know, right. Just to have his basic necessities. But right. that nigga wanna do much and more and more and more for the for the woman. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's another reason why when Lord returns, a lot of these women ain't gonna make it either. No. You know? You know, we, we of course, you know, we talking about these wicked ass women, but you know, you're gonna have women that's of the elect as well. You know, but for the most part, man, you know, a lot of these 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 people in this world, they're gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, that that was it. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, we gonna wrap it up. Like I said, Lord willing, this is edifying to you, sincere brothers, as well as you few sisters out there, man. Keep fighting, keep you know, keep keep them prayers up, man. And yeah, be, and be content, man. Whatever Lord situation, Lord got you with, man. It's all a blessing. And just having this truth alone is a blessing, okay? So, you know, just remember that, you know? So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. 
We're going to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakradash, double honors to the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, honors and salutations to the hopeful elect, person's word and truth, sincerity. Shalom.